How's it going guys? My name is Eric from Wilderman and welcome back to Mario Maker. In this video, we're going to be doing a special level. It's called Action Skill Mario. It's notorious for having really hard wall jumps. And uh, this is the first level I think that I've practiced beforehand. Like P is for pain, I was learning as I went. But this level I heard was really difficult and so I wanted to practice beforehand just in case it would take me a long time. And I think I'm pretty practiced up. Like I'm feeling confident that I will be able to do it soon. I hope. <laughs> but there's like a lot of tricky jumps. There's I think three parts in the level that will kill me a lot. It's always the cute me's that you have to be worried about, by the way. That cute one? Oh, she she means trouble. All right, she means big trouble. So, um, let's just do this. So the first part's like pretty easy. Now, one big thing that this tests out is your ability to like fall onto the walls. What was I doing? You have to do like a spin jump there. It's like you have to fall from above and keep on falling and then grab onto a wall like at the last second. It also tests you doing, uh, you know, mini jumps. See, so you fall and then you got to grab onto that one below. There's a few parts. I mean, this part is like the easy part. It's so nice. Look at you can just take a break. Most of this level you have to keep on going. You can't just like take a little break like this. But here we are just chilling. We can take our sweet time and come down here. It's beautiful. It's great. It's beautiful. So you got to go here, slide, and you wait! And then you jump at the last second. And also, you have to, like, know when to jump. Like, you have to slide at certain times and jump, like, at the last second a few times. See? Did you see that switch? It's all about walls switching and, and jumping and you fall down, do a mini jump, mini jump! That's one of the parts that can kill me, by the way. That little mini jump there can kill me. Man, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing pretty good. Now, this part here, this is... Oh god, I just made it! You have to be so perfect on that jump. Like, it looks easier than it actually is. Slide. We're making some decent progress, though. This is great. This is great. So you fall. Slide. Fall. Now here is a little tricky jump. You gotta wait. So I get a little bit of a break here. I can, like, you know, just chill out. Just jump back and forth. But you gotta wait. Wait a little bit, and then do a mini jump. It, it's such a bad habit of mine to jump like higher than you need to and, and you can die there very easily. Okay, we're making good progress. We're almost at the last part that usually kills me. Right here. Uh, and, and, oh God, see, you can't jump too high. But that jump, the jump that I died on, you have to be so perfect because you can die when you jump high, but it's really easy to jump too low and not be able to go over that spike that's there. It's, that's probably the hardest jump in the level. For me anyways, it is. Although at the end of the level, there are like these, this really, there's a couple tricky jumps that you have to do where you have to kind of jump horizontally as you're falling down, you have to dodge these spikes. It's either that, the end or the place that I just died at that's gonna kill me most of the time. Although there are a couple other parts that will end up killing me too on the way, on the journey. But I mean, that was a really solid attempt. I was, I was getting there, you know? I'm proud of myself for that. Ooh, see this jump. Mm. Man, that it's such a butt clenching moment. Oh my God. You, this is a situation where you don't have time. You can't like keep on jumping back and forth between the wall. You have to make those jumps first time. There's just no going back. Come on, Eric, you can do this. You're amazing. Your mommy says you're good at games. My mommy's seen me play a lot of Mario. She knows the skills. It's great. I like that little break at the beginning. Although I, I gotta say, like the beginning now is so easy to me. It's all about just getting past like those hard bits at the end. Oh man, those hard bits at the end. I'm gonna die there so much and it's gonna make me sad because it's right near the end and you gotta go, oh God. <laughs> See, it looks easier than it is, all right? One little mishap and you're done. You're done, son. It's back to the beginning. It reminds me of Geometry Dash in that there's no mushrooms. It's just like this is about like two minutes, maybe a minute and a half to two minutes. And if you die, it's just back to the beginning of the level. That's all. It's very Geometry Dash-esque that way. And also there's many parts like Geometry Dash where you can't stop going. You just keep on having to press forward, which is very Geometry Dash-esque. Because Geometry Dash, like the whole game is like that, <laughs> like, you know. Well, I'm sure a lot of you know because you've seen me play Geometry Dash. Ha! Uh, ha! Oh, God! See? Go, oh, man! I swear to God, I'm getting used to Mario because he takes a second to grab onto the wall. Ooh, and then he grabs. It isn't just like touch and grab. It's touch, ooh, and then grab. Mm, I gotta not be too fast. I gotta be patient. Patience, Eric. Come on. Oh God, I keep on thinking I'm gonna make that. Man, Mario, tuck it in, man. Tuck in that little gut of yours. 
and get up there. You'd think with all these like wall jumps and all the crazy acrobatics that Mario does, he wouldn't have as much of a gut as he does. He's a little pudge. You're a little pudge, which isn't a bad thing, by the way. It's just, you would think this guy would be like super slim considering like all the crazy shit he goes through all the time to save the princess for the billion gajillionth time. That's a real number. Okay, come on. There we go. Man, why was I dying there? My voice just cracked a little bit. I can't believe I'm making that jump. I can't believe it. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, this level has like a 0.03% completion rate or something. Ridiculous. Because I think this level got famous on YouTube or something. And a lot of people were trying it out, but, but couldn't do it, right? But I'm going to be part of the 0.03%. Or is it 0.3%? I forget. 0 0.3, 0 0.03? I don't know. Either way. We're going, baby! Oh, shit, man! Don't say that. Just focus. Don't say we're going. We got it. Nothing along the lines of, hey, we're gonna do it soon. Because you're gonna jinx yourself and you're not gonna do it soon. Come on. Focus. Maybe I should be negative. Sometimes being negative works when I play Geometry Rush. I'm like, Eric, you're not gonna do this. You're a stupid poopy face. And then when I don't think I'm gonna win... And then I get really calm because I'm like, well, I'm not going to win anyways. I guess I'm pretty calm. And it works. Sometimes. Sometimes it does. Sometimes positivity works for me. But, you know, sometimes the negativity works. Ha! Oh, the small jumps. Focus. Jump back. You can do that if you need to get a little higher there. It's nice. It's really nice. Ha! Oh, that was close. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We haven't got- Oh no! Ah, that happens when you twirl too early. Now one thing about this level is it really also tests when you're in midair where you should twirl. When you twirl early, you don't jump as high. Mm, and But when you twirl at the apex of your jump, you can go a little bit further, right? So it, it just all depends on where you are in your jump and how far the gap is when you twirl. All that shit like comes into play. It's really cool because it's very well crafted. Like it really does test very specific kinds of jumps as you're going through the level. It is a very well made level, very deliberately made level. It's not just like, it's not just stupid bullshit, which some levels can be stupid bullshit, you know? Just like, ha ha, I put all this random shit in the way because it's funny, you know? No, this level's very, very deliberate with its precision. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, it certainly is. Let's go. Ah, I thought I was going to hit the top there. There we go. Small jump. Hang. Good. Nice little easy bit. Well, you can still die, but... Easy for me because I'm so cool. Okay, wait. Wait. There we go. Oh, I hit my head. Oh, man. You got to do a little mini jump. You have a lot of space there. The first part of that is hard. The top. But once you get to there, that wasn't hard. But why, why did I, why did I die? Why did I die? Why did I die? Eric, you idiots. Here we go. Small jump. There we go. Tiny, tiny. We're going, we're going. Holy shit. I'm nervous. Don't get nervous, Eric, you puss. Oh, I made it. I made it. Oh my God, that jump is so hard. You have to be so perfect. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. All the way to the end. <sighs> okay, fall down. We gotta- don't grab the wall. There we go. Now you gotta go fast. You gotta go fast. Now you- this part here, you have to do little twirls in midair. You don't- Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I thought I was gonna do it! Oh god! No! I thought I was gonna make that jump! I usually do. I just barely missed it. <sighs> but there is also a hard part at the end, which I'll show you when I get there. That will kill me probably a couple times. So I mean, it wasn't a guaranteed victory. It wasn't guaranteed, not quite yet, but I could have had a chance, and dying to the star is sad. That, uh, that area there, when you're going with the star, you have to jump, like, right at the apex of your jump. Well, you have to twirl when you're at the apex of your jump to get the most height off of every single jump. Otherwise, you won't have enough time to make it because the star will run out. So you don't press it too early, like you don't jump and twirl immediately. You twirl like right at the end of the jump when you're about to hit the wall to keep yourself as high as you can. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because like at first I thought that part was impossible. But then I just kind of practiced the timing of the twirl a little bit. And I was like, whoa, it makes such a difference when you twirl in the jump, right? And it was really cool to learn that. It was really cool. It's actually really helping me with like wall jumping. Maybe if I come across like a wall jump level in Super Expert now, I'll actually be able to, uh... Oh, 
Oh man, I died there a lot. I haven't died there once, but I used I died there a lot when I was practicing. That's crazy. But yeah, when I come across a crazy wall jump level in Super Expert, I might I might have a chance now. I think I will. This is great practice. Come on. There we there we go. There we go. We're gonna get to the batshit crazy part. Here we go. Uh oh. Ah, oh, God, my head! I'm always worried about going too low there. Like, when you do a successful jump, you just barely get over top that spike thing on the left. And it's crazy, you just barely get over top. Like, the last time I did that too, you probably saw. Just barely got over top. It's crazy! Ow! Oh, I thought I hit it too late! I thought I hit it too late! Oh, oh, ah, fuck! I hit it too early, I drilled too early! God, man! Oh god! One success, one fluke, but you can't fluke twice, okay? You gotta you gotta take your one fluke and you gotta you gotta get back into the game, right? Because every time you fluke you think you're gonna die, it kinda like takes away from your concentration, and then you have to get back into the game by reconcentrating and repositioning yourself. That happens with rhythm games all the time. Like in Dance Dance Revolution, when you lose the beat, you may as well just kiss the, kiss the level goodbye. Unless you're playing on like an easier song, in which case you can get the beat back easily. But if you're on like a higher difficulty song and you lose the beat, it's just like... Goodbye! You're boned! The arcade machine's gonna eat your dollar and you're never gonna see it ever again! Nice and smooth. Oh, yeah! You see, that's what happens when you don't do it at the apex of your jump. I actually twirled too late there. We're gonna do it. This is the hard part. Oh my god, I did it! That's so hard, holy shit! That's the hard- okay, come on, don't waste it, don't waste it. You got this shit. Oh! Oh! Oh shit, okay, I made it. Oh, okay, this is the hard jump. This is the hard jump. Oh god, Eric, don't. Huh. Oh. Huh? Oh my god, one more, one more, one more. I got. Ah! No, I was about to say I got it. No way. No. All I had to do was land on that and then it was easy until the end. Are you kidding me? Ah! That was. That was. It was. I, you hit your head? Really? Mario, you fat, stupid head. You hit it. No, oh, that looks like I had so much room. I was like, nailed it in my head. I was so happy. My brain was smiling and it was actually crying tears of happiness. And you just, oh, see your stupid fat head, man. God, Mario. If you didn't have such a big mustache or poofy hair, maybe it hit his hair, right? And he's like, oh my God, my beautiful big poofy hair. Oh, I can't live anymore. No, how am I gonna meet the princess? If she sees my hair's been cut. Eh. Oh, freaking fuck, fuck you. <sighs> Dying there is it's just sadness. That's sad. It makes me cry. It, that's it. It just makes me cry. There's no anger. There's no frustration. It's just it's just sadness. It's like a really easy part. Just throwing away the attempt by being dumb. Jumbo! Come on. Oh, you know, I twirled. I pressed it. Like, I pressed it as I hit the spike. Man, that's so tight. It's so tight. Oh, at least I got to the end again. I bet the pros at Mario Maker think this level's so easy. Like, us plebs were all like, Oh man, it's such a crazy level! And all the people that do Kaizo stuff were probably like, <laughs> Action Mario, are you kidding me? <laughs> They're probably just laughing away. Yeah, laugh away, okay? But yeah, laugh away! Laugh, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Oh no, I just barely touched, I was trying to grab onto the wall there and I just barely touched it, but I was holding down right for too long because I was trying to grab onto the wall so I could slide down there, but I held onto it for just a short time and then I went over to the right. Oh, that sucks, I made it past that too. The first one anyways, it would have been a good opportunity. I was like on the last hard jump and I messed up, oh no. Yeah. 
Here we go! Oh. I almost died, holy shit. Oh, the same fucking spike! I hit it too many times, I should've just fallen, why'd I twirl again? Oh man, I have such a bad habit of twirling when I don't need to twirl. Stomp on the spike! Oh, the bottom that time I went backwards because I went too high initially. I overshot it, I slowed down, but then I slowed down too much. Yes, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Woohoohoo! Action skill, Eric Van Wilderman is what this should be called. Oh, baby, we did it! Took me 52 minutes. I did about 30 minutes of practice before I recorded this. Ooh, yes, it feels good to beat a hard level again. It's been a while since I've just sat down and done like one hard level in uh, Mario Maker. Yeah, the world record's 109? Are you crazy? By the way, guys, I should be, um, it's a very good level. Yeah, this is so much fun. Uh, I feel like I got much better at twirling in midair and doing wall jumps. It was cool. I really got to star these levels more. A lot of you guys have been like, Eric, you love levels in Mario Maker, but you don't star them. I just keep on forgetting while I'm recording because I'm focused on what I'm saying. And I'm not focused like so much on just like starring levels, but it's a habit I should get into. So I, I'm sorry I haven't been starring levels when I've been doing like my expert or super expert runs. Damn, but 109, how in the hell do you do 109? There's got to be some secret. I thought I was rocking that. Oh, action skill Mario, when I first saw this, there's a 0.03% completion rate. That's crazy. Wow, 0.03%, but I did it. 635,000 plays? That's a lot of plays, holy shit, that's a lot. 238 clears, I am in the 0.03%. Cute little me, haha, <laughs> you could not defeat me. I think there's a part two though. I think there's an action skill Mario too. Maybe I'll do that later. Oh wow, there's a bunch of action skill Mario jump, action skill Mario. And then, wow, okay. There's a lot, oh my god, look at that! There's a lot of action skill Marios, but I think the one that I played is like the popular one. This one, yeah, that's the one that I played. Oh my god, okay. Damn, there's action skill Mario too. Oh. Really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun to do these. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Remember to leave a like down below. I'll see you in future videos on the channel. And as always, guys, peace.